Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody, and cast time once again. And I need to preface this by saying that uh, this one here is going to be kind of rushed. There's a there's a thunderstorm rolling in right now. Um, while I was putting this together, uh, I'm starting to hear uh, rain, um, a few plinkers here and there, so it might be hailing outside, and along with some, <laughs> along with some thunder booming as well. So I'm going to kind of need to get this cast done and taken care of and uploaded and all that. Uh, before, like, my apartment blacks out or something, but like I said, um, there's a thunderstorm rolling in, so I gotta, yes, yeah, so I gotta get this done and taken care of now. So, um, I, I had to leave off, probably had to leave off a few things, and, uh, while I'm, uh, while I'm talking through this, I might forget to say certain things, so, but like I said, I kinda have to rush through this, so. And the music... Um, this is going to be a Final Fantasy X soundtrack, uh, Besaid Island. Uh, uh, again, I'll probably talk about this more, but I didn't really find any any uh, cool new albums worth using on this uh, cast video. So just the well run the well run dry today, and I wasn't wasn't really into playing any of my um, any of the uh, any of the old reliable albums that I currently have on my computer. So I kind of scrambled around. Um, just on a whim, grabbed this. It was the first, uh, it was the first tune that popped into my head. Did a copyright check. It came up okay. Um, and then I'll go ahead and say this too. Uh, for music like this, that's from fairly popular games, I'm kind of leery of. But like I said, um, I didn't really have time to find anything else. So, if this, um, that if, despite the copyright check coming back okay, if my uh, video does get copyright claimed anyway, um, probably what I'll end up having to do is just uh, shit can the attempt on YouTube and just uh, upload it to Twitch, and then just um, then just uh, hand up uh, hand off all hand off all the people I know the link to it. So yeah. But anyway, let me go ahead and get that fired up. Oh, oh I got it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get her started. Um, but for today, I uh, did my usual. Um, just for my or for, today, for today's stream, I did my uh, usual run of vital games. And um, I gotta hang on. I gotta yank the headphones off. I'm having the same problem I've been having. The 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 headphone has a major wire issue, so uh, the music basically cuts in and out, and I can't afford the distraction right now. So. Just gonna go ahead and throw them off, um, because I do need to focus on talking. So anyway, uh, today's stream it went okay, or I should say it went pretty good despite uh despite me getting some pretty bad sleep, um, like yesterday and I think the day before I've been having problems with my right jaw, like um I did a neck exercise that went wrong or something. So um I have been alternating between Tylenol and ibuprofen. So I have managed to keep the pain down some, but yeah, it it starts from my uh, right jaw, like um, right at the right at the hinge, uh, just below my right ear, and it kind of it kind of uh, radiates down to like right in the middle of my the on the right middle right part of my neck, like just to the right of my windpipe. So, like I said, I have a feeling I might have I might have hurt my right neck muscle when doing a neck exercise. So, but yeah, anyway, um, had a hard time, had a hard time sleeping because of that. Uh, I'm a side sleeper for what it's worth. And then on top of that, um, later on in the morning, uh, they were, uh, they are uh, shampooing the carpets in my apartment complex. So, I'm having to deal with a lot of, uh, a lot of floor pounding, a lot of wall hitting and stuff like that. You know, as the old vacuum, you know, when they're smacking the walls. So... So yeah, I didn't sleep all that great, but despite that, it was actually a pretty good stream. Um, did my usual. Uh, started with Island and Roll of the Gods, played that for a little while. Just um, when I got to a good stopping point, uh, went over to my next one, Idle Research. Same thing. Got to a point of stability on that. And then, um, 
Then uh, I went to a, uh, I went to another game that I haven't played in years, uh, called Trimps. Um, it just uh, I think uh, I played it back uh in like the early to mid 2010s. Uh, back when uh, back before I was even uh, even creating content. So it's like yeah, I played it on a, a gaming website called Congregate. So, yeah, I played it on that. Well, apparently it's available on Steam now. Um, this this morning I did a, I think I just went on the Steam store looking up more idle games and Trimps was on there. So I'm like, oh, it's been a long time. So I just went ahead and uh, downloaded that. And so that's officially part of my list. Um. Uh, yeah, I I was gonna just. I was gonna just go ahead and fire up the game and show you guys how it plays, but yeah, I'm like I said, I'm I kind of need a I kind of need to get this uh, cast done post haste, so before my apartment blacks out. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, but yeah, trimps. Um, but yeah, pretty good, pretty good idle game overall. So I uh, played that, and then once I got to a, a stable point on that game. Um, I went to Idol Champions, so I just played, then spent the rest of my session playing that. Um, yeah, and then, um, in Musical.ly, most of it was actually, uh, dark ambient music. Um, it's from, a from a channel. Those that have checked out my other cast are probably familiar with it. It's called Cryo Chamber. Um, but yeah, mo most of my time was spent playing that, but like I said, um, the wells pretty much run dry today. There wasn't really a whole lot of uh, brand new albums that came out. I think, I think the two that actually did, I didn't care for. I didn't play them very long. So, so once again, I had to go with uh, dark ambient music. So, uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of hesitant to play it for long periods because there's a lot of animation on it. So, it's gonna suck up a lot of stream space, and then. And then something else I just thought of recently too. There's also a chance that uh, whenever I have it, and then if those for those that remember, um, I used to play a uh, uh, old old J-pop from the 70s and 80s, um, like Cryo Chamber. There's a lot of animation on that live stream, so um, playing those, um, if I have those two running, there's a greater chance of my computer crashing. Especially if I try to alt tab out of a window. So, like I said, I'm real hesitant in using those. But again, um, I there were there were really there were there were very few other new albums that came out. So had to go had to use them as a backup. And then I did uh I did uh watch a podcast or watch I did listen to a uh, a Henry Rollins podcast Henry and Heidi her his manager um listen to it um there was one more I there was one more I checked out I can't remember what it was this it I my memory fails me so but like I said overall it was a good it was a good stream despite the poor sleep um just had a just had a bunch of my regulars came on we just chatted it up for a while so and uh oh uh oh Oh, uh, forgot something. I forgot to, I forgot to loop that video. So yeah, just me being retarded. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I forgot to, I forgot to set it to loop mode. But I mean, like I said, though, I have my um, I have my headphones off, so all I have to go by is just my uh, OBS sound mixer. I just noticed, hmm, desktop audio sure has been blank for a while. <gasps> Forgot to set it to loop, so. Oh yeah. Anyway, that's that on that. Um, and then for for today's pinball session, uh, it's a new matchup week, so 
Ah, uh, I... I think, um, one table, Star Wars, droids, like R2-D2 and C-3PO. They, yeah, they actually have a pinball table in that, but... Um, it's actually one of the easier tables to get a decent score on. There's a, a right saucer hole. You just keep aiming for that. Um, you just gotta hope that RN Jesus is on your side, because what you get out of there is random. Sometimes you'll get a, a bonus multiplier, which is absolutely useless for a, for a three-minute time mode. Um, or sometimes you get a flat score of one million. That's one of those that you want. Uh, it, it combos great with a double score boost. And then there's also another one where uh, uh, extra ball will be lit at that very same at that very same sinkhole. You just basically make the same shot twice. Um, since since it's a time mode and not a standard three and out, um, you don't get an extra ball. Instead, you get a I think you get two million. It's either it's either one million or two million. But again, it's a big lump score. So yeah, it not that difficult of a table. Just keep aiming it for that hole. Uh, Fantastic Four. Um, uh, theoretically, it's not. It's kind of like the aliens table. If those are familiar with it, you you can get a good score shooting combos, and the ramps in and of themselves are not that hard to shoot at. The problem is is I'll probably talk more about this a little bit later, but input lag. I've been having a major problem with it all through the uh, through this pinball session. So, you know, uh, a normally easy shot turns to shit because that that um, that split second of lag that I have, it throws off my timing and it throws off my shots. So, but like I said, it's, it's not that hard of a table to get a good score on uh, via combos. So, and then Guardians of the Galaxy, I get that table fairly often. Kind of the same thing. Um, you basically, you have to start a mode and then complete that mode in order to get a good score. But again, the shots themselves are not that difficult to make. But if you have a problem with input lag like I do, yeah, it's going to be a hard, good luck getting a good score. I'm going to take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Hold on. And I'm thinking maybe the storm subsided, cause I haven't heard no thunder or no no hail or anything. So I I suppose I could probably slow down a little bit. And then Funhouse, I've gotten that table the past few weeks. Um, ideally you wanna I I, I the past five times that I've been playing playing it, I have beaten the high score. Uh, basically just getting some lucky shots here and there, but on paper, it's actually uh, one of the worst tables you can have on a matchup league. But again, I've been, hap I've been getting some lucky shots on there, getting uh, big lump scores, so I've been beating high scores, so... And uh, I, did, I did play it, I did play it, and same thing as before, I actually ended up beating the high score. Uh, same with the droids table beat the high score on it so but again this is only the first day out of the week so I am gonna have to come back on here from time to time and do maintenance and then pinball arcade um kind of the same thing um did a did a like a 15 30 minute session it it went okay but once again I'm blowing a lot of shots due to bad input lag so, I I figured um, I did good enough to where it was worthy of um, uploading it to YouTube. I rec I recorded the session, but but yeah, there's there's times where I I play such ass that it's just not even worth uploading. So I just delete the video. This time around, I despite the, despite the lag, I think I still performed competently enough to go ahead and upload it. Otherwise, that'll do it for that. Um, and then one more thing. Um, so another um, another Amoeba Records put out came out with a, or put out another "What's in My Bag" video. 
Uh, for those that don't know how this works is they select an artist and they they follow around that artist with a camera and they you know while she goes and shops and grabs whatever vinyl CDs etc that she wants to buy last I checked um, they are given a $200 budget you know they're just up to 200 bucks they can buy whatever they want so but this time around is from an artist named Loppy. Um, never heard of her, but um, but um, started up. Man, there was there was a certain way I was wanting to say this. Oh well, I'll just. But uh, when I first saw her, at the first few moments of the video, I'm thinking, uh oh, not another one of these. She kind of looked like she was like in her teens or twenties, and she was probably gonna. She was probably just gonna pick uh, crappy albums that I probably hear at work every day, but nope. She's she's just like Horse Girl uh, from a few weeks ago. Uh, she was actually uh, she was actually pick, picking a lot of these old school albums, like uh, she's like you know old old jazz like uh, Billie Holiday, um, Chet Baker. I I guess he I guess he was actually a singer at one point last night from the very very little I heard of him he was a trumpet player but I guess um, I actually had to look this up on the wiki but um, I guess at one point he lost all of his teeth um, no um, apparently what had happened is uh, Jack got the shit beat out of him by a bunch of gangsters and uh, they busted out all of his teeth so when that happened he couldn't play the trumpet anymore so he had a he had to rely on singing that started his singing career but anyway but yeah she was she was uh, picking a lot of these old school jazz albums, so like um, like I always do, any artist that surprises me, um, I actually I actually look into them, look into their music. Um, sub to her channel. Oh, and um, she did. She also had a Taylor Swift album in there. I'm like, oh fuck. But I actually checked out the album um, Fearless. Uh, man, it's starting to thunder outside, so it looks like a storm's coming back. But anyway, um, I looked up the album. It was like it was like Taylor Swift, like when she first started out, like as an actual country singer. And this is like years before the shake it off, shake, shake it off shit that I gotta hear at work every day. You know, before she, she decided before she decided to pull out Metallica and sell out. You know, go the pop route. So, but yeah, but she had that album in there. So I I definitely forgave her for that. But otherwise. All the rest of the music she was picking was all just old school jazz, old school jazz singers. I think she had one um, Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong. I never two, I never knew the two worked together. So, so but yeah, like I said, um, she's just like Horse Girl. So, I mean, Horse Girl. For those that don't know, it's a a three piece indie rock band. Um, a few weeks ago, I actually did a cast video on them. Um, but yeah, I thought that they were just going to get into like modern day, you know, just modern day pop shit. But no, um, though, those girls there, they were, they were into the old like 70s and 80s punk music. Like, you know, Sonic Youth. I think they had old Clash in there and stuff like that. So yeah, that was another surprise. So, but anyway, getting back, getting back to Loppy, um, man, something else, uh, something else she, another total surprise was, uh, um, after listening to her, she has a hint of some kind of accent. I couldn't place it. You know, I mean, I mean, you know, some of them, you know, you know, bloody British people sound like this, you know, Southern people sound like this, and Russian people sound like this, you know, Asian people sound like this, you know, it just, you know, the, the accents are obvious, oh, fucking New York, I mean, you know, the moment you hear that, you know, they from fucking New York, you know, that kind of thing. I'm trying to place hers, I'm like, I, I couldn't recognize it for anything, and, and then looked her up, like, oh, shit, she's from Iceland. That was complete mind blow right there. So, so double surprise right there. I mean, the only other Icelandic uh, artist that I knew of was Bjork. You know, she, she kind of had this really hard to hard to recognize accent to her, and I had to have subtitles on her. She, she, 
we are kind of sound like Chinese girl on Mad TV, you know, it just, so, but yeah, so, I, like I said, total mind blow when finding out that Lofi is actually from Iceland. But once again, I, she had a hint of an accident that I couldn't recognize her that wasn't familiar to me. Um, Natalie Merchant was another one like that. You listen to her talk, I'm like, where the hell is she from? Well, not nice, she, um, Agent Oxford or anything like that. You know, Agent, like I said, it's an accent that I couldn't place. But no, she's from New York. So, so yeah, complete surprise there. And, um, but again, out of, um, but once again, any artist that can surprise me like this, I definitely got to check them out. So, yeah, sub to her channel, um, listen to some of her music. Um, it's like, it's kind of like Billie Holiday, just it's really, you know, I got I had a plug in my controller. Anyway, so just like really, really soft jazz, kind of like Billie Holiday, if you've ever heard, listen to her music. So not quite my cup of tea. Um, like I said, I gave her a listen, but um, what were they called? I listened to her Rayek Javik sessions. Like I think she recorded part of the, recorded this uh, session probably in her native her native homeland of Iceland. Um, I think it was all, it was just her and acoustic. I was having trouble trying to find it, some of her other music to listen to because uh, it was all, uh, it was either music videos, which I don't care for, or it was, uh, I tried to watch a live performance, but it was like really out of sync. The audio and video was like at least a full second out of sync, so it was just really hard to watch. So... So yeah, I had a rely on her Rayek Javik sessions. But aside from that, once again, um, not my cup of tea. Um, but um, would it be my first choice? But I've said this about uh, I've said this about other types of music, other types of albums that um, if it hap I mean, if it happened to be on, maybe if it popped up in like one of my YouTube recommendations, yeah, I'll give it a listen, sure. Um. Uh, another way of looking at it is uh, if if I had to choose between listening to Loppy and Eric Clapton's greatest hits, hey, fuck yeah, man, I'm going with Loppy. I mean, I'm sick of Eric Clapton. Not a nothing per nothing personal, but you know, just Clockwork Orange build up. Just sick and you know, sick and tired of having to hear that crap. The Eagles' greatest hits also comes to mind, but you get the idea. You know, I'm at I'm at a point now where. It, again, if if I had to choose, be, you know, between Lafay and and oh, the essential Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, yeah, then yeah, I'm, Lafay it is. So, um. But otherwise, oh, 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 one one thing I one thing I do gotta say is um for my uh for my work week, I'm actually on vacation this week. So yeah, um, I it's gonna be I'm gonna try to explain this as best I can. Uh, Walmart's attendance policy. Back in the day, it. Let's see if I can. You had uh, three different types of time off. You had vacation time, sick time, and then personal time. Well, that, you know, so if you actually want to take a vacation, you use these kind of hours. Um, if you're actually sick, you would use these kind of hours. Or if you just didn't feel like coming into work, you just use the personal hours. Um, that got changed. So... Uh, I think I've said this in other videos before, but if you uh, you can if you can call in up to five times in a rolling six month period, but if you call in that sixth time, they fire you. And then um, and then you uh, how oh, okay. you also had a but you still um, uh, but all these um, it, how can I explain this? Like I said, it's it's. It's kind of, but uh, the um, uh, but I'll just do this. Recently, 
they uh, rolled over my personal hours into my uh, regular time off hours. So now I got a whole bunch of extra hours because for the longest time, I was only taking Wednesday off because because of the new system. Like, they're not giving you shit for time off now. You 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 gain very few hours, especially in my case because I'm was only i only doing part-time. So you don't want to crew that many hours because you're not working that many hours because you're not... You're not accruing that much um, time off time because uh, I'm not working that many hours. But anyway, so I had a whole bunch of personal hours because once again, they just switched to this new system. So I had all these uh, personal sick hours still kind of dangling there. Well, I don't know if it was a, a computer glitch or something, but they rolled over all my personal hours into my normal hours. So... I figured since I got a whole bunch of these hours and I haven't actually taking, taken a full-blown vacation in a long time, I decided to go ahead and put in for it. Um, and then secondly, um, October, after after October, the holidays start up. You know, you got Thanksgiving, you got Black Friday, you got Christmas, then you got New Year's. So during the holidays, you're going to have a very hard time um, getting your time off approved, especially, you know, around these holidays, around Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, so you put in for those hours, you're more likely to get rejected. And there's also going to be certain other days throughout these holidays that nobody can call in for or that nobody can request off for. But if you do call in, it counts doubly against you. So, but anyway, getting back on, getting back on topic... Um, I'm on vacation this week, so I got I had to put it in, put in for it now, cause uh, chances are I might not be able to during the holidays. So, but, yeah. so, but otherwise, um, but once again, that that's gonna do it for me. Um, I think I've said all the things that I wanted to say today, so I'll call her good. Um, but thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that and. As you probably would have, you probably could have surmised by what I just said. Um, yeah, I'm, there should be another cast video coming your way tomorrow. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>